Come on in and have some fun. Come on. So just come in and learn with us with the mouse in the house. With Lucia and Vinny and Jessica and Dino. Yeah. So come on, young scientists. Come join the mouse in the house. Uh-huh. My name is Max. Welcome to my lab. Do you think it's possible to stack liquids on top of each other? Well, today we're going to stack six liquids on top of each other in a six liquid layer stack. Say it again. Six liquid layer stack. <laughs> you will need some paraffin, alcohol, vegetable oil, Water colored with food coloring. Liquid soap. Some syrup. A cylinder or long glass. And six cups. Let's begin the experiment. You need to pour each liquid slowly into the container, one at a time. Make sure you pour them in the following order. Syrup. Now add the dishwashing liquid. Then pour the water. Now the vegetable oil. And then the alcohol. Oops! Careful! And finally, the paraffin. As you pour, the liquids will layer on top of one another. After you pour in the liquids, you will have a six-layer science experiment. Wow! <laughs> Now it's your turn. Remember to pour each liquid slowly into the container, one at a time. Make sure that you pour them in the following order. First the syrup. Don't forget to give your friends a turn. <laughs> now the dishwashing liquid. Now the vegetable oil. And then the alcohol. And finally the paraffin. is totally cool! How does it work? The liquids that weigh more or have a higher density will sink below the liquids that weigh less. For example, the syrup weighs more than the liquid soap. What is density? Density is basically a comparison between an object's weight and how much space it takes up. I mixed the liquids while I was pouring them in. Is this a problem? liquids mix a little as you're pouring, the layers will always even themselves out because of the varying densities. This actually reminds me of another king of stacking. Let's get into my space pod and go find a sweet surprise. Many of us love eating cakes and there's so many cakes to choose from. There are many different types of cakes, like sponge cakes and cupcakes, but today our focus is on layered cakes. A layered cake is a cake that is made up of multiple layers, usually held together by frosting or another type of filling such as jam or cream. <laughs> enough to eat. See you back at my lab, kids! Today's green tip is... Dry your clothes on a washing line instead of using a dryer. It's cleaner, cheaper and makes your clothes smell a lot fresher. Today, we learned more about density and also how to make a delicious layered cake. Yummy! So, WizKids, experiment at home and we'll meet next time.